One day I was going to one concert there in Brazil with a samba group there very late at night. Parked my car and when I'm leaving my car to go to this place, the venue, three kids, I mean 18 years old, tops, that came to me, put the gun in my chest like, and say, okay, come back to your car, let's go. After 30 minutes, they just released me in the highway, they took my car, my instruments, everything gone, Jesus Christ. So after that, the company that was sponsoring me by the time, they, they just left me in that situation. They didn't replace me the saxophones. A Taiwanese brand had a, a distributor in Brazil and this distributor no, knew me because of this job I did. They invited me to start to help them with the promotion of the Taiwanese brand there in Brazil. The president of the company Shared, shared my video and he just said I need to bring you to, to Taiwan because the style you play here in Taiwan people will love it. I need to bring you to Taiwan. Hello everyone. Welcome to our show today. My name is John Drummond or Yang Haowen. Hi, 大家好,欢迎回到NG英文,我是 Stephanie. We have a great episode for you today with my good friend Tiogo, who is from Brazil but has been living here in Taiwan for about three years now. Diogo is a professional musician specializing in the saxophone. He is a teacher of music, a world traveler, a lover of life, and so much more. Diogo is from Bahia. He has been in Taiwan for three years. He is a professional saxophone player and also a music teacher. He is a person who is full of passion for life and also loves to travel the world. Let's welcome our next guest, Diogo. Diogo. So everyone, please welcome my good friend, Diogo. Hey, John. Thanks, man. It's a really, really pleasure to be here with you. Really, really happy. Man, you are just such a great ball of energy, my uh, friend. Thanks, man. You thanks. know, do you remember how we met? Yeah, man. It's super, super nice. Instagram, this kind of uh, social media is really good most of the times. Yeah. For well said. <laughs> well said. <laughs> most of the time. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Just like I was at home and then I just got a, a message on my Instagram. And it's you just inviting me, talking about your show. And I instantly said yes because, yeah, I'm open for new friends, new new experience and talking to, to, to new people sharing that that's what it's all, all about i love it man yeah it was so beautiful because you were performing with someone who's been here on the ng england show carol yeah and you know carol's Amazing voice singing. just oh so yeah. beautiful i love so <laughs> I, I really try not to scroll instagram too much anymore but i always try to watch his his music mm -hmm. because i love listening and he's singing and behind him you come on and do this incredible saxophone solo thanks bro thanks and i was like <laughs> holy crap I, I just felt it i just felt the power, the energy, the love yeah, that you have for the music, I do. and I had to comment. <laughs> I do. Thanks, bro. Yeah, I'm glad you did. <laughs> and, and, you know, we've, we've now got to meet a few times and hang out, and it's been lovely. So thank you for joining us today my on pleasure, the NG Nguyen Show. So, Diogo, first of all, I love your name. It's spelled D-I-O-G-O, -O, yes. friends here, and kind of might sound like uh, Diogo, maybe, mm. but in Portuguese, for Brazilians, they do the D-I with the G sound. Yeah, right? yeah. It's, you know, Brazil is a huge country, right? So depending on the area you are, it's, it, it will change a little bit, but mostly people will say Diogo, yeah. Diogo. I love yeah. it. Diogo. Great name. <laughs> Thank you. He just explained a little bit why his name and his name are not the same. 就是因为呢，葡萄牙文的 D I 其实就是英文的 G 的念法，随便 Giogo。那有点像西班牙文，他们虽然是 A B C 字母拼的，但是像他们如果要表达哈哈的时候，就是用 J A J A 去拼。Awesome, brother. Well, I was hoping we could start today with your love for music. Oh man, because that's, that's really love. Yeah. It's everything. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's it just it speaks, and I feel it. And we talked about that yeah, before, yeah, right? We did. But I was hoping you could kind of give our audience here on NG England a little bit about your your story, your origin story with the saxophone. All right, all right. Yeah, I yeah started really really early. I uh, was born in a Christian family in Brazil, and in the the church that I frequented there. They mostly have an orchestra, right? And my uncle, who lived in the same the same uh, area as my family, he was a saxophone player. So by the age of of five, I already too interested about saxophone, and six, I started to play. Yeah, because in the church, of course, yeah. But you know, in the church, they they teach you the basics, right? Just for you to to learn how to read the the, the notes and everything. But saxophone was something so 
inside my 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 blood that I just spent the whole day while while I was a children listening to Kenny G and trying to play along and that's that's my school <laughs> that's my school in the beginning I love it that's your school and Kenny G the smooth yeah, sound I mean I mean saxophone originally was was a jazz instrument and everything but Kenny G made it popular around the globe mm, agreed I agreed. mean everybody that knows saxophone we related it to Kenny G somehow. Yeah, that's very yeah, true, yeah, right? Yeah. And most music you hear kind of playing throughout the world yeah. will be some levels of Kenny G. Yeah, man. So cool, man. Like and so, as you fell in love with the instrument, what really made it your profession? How did you know that you wanted to do that for the rest of your life? Uh, actually, it's it's it was not not easy because you know Brazil is is not very very easy country to live of art or whatever other stuff that is not. Uh, tagged as profession, right? right? Like my surfer friends yeah, from Brazil yeah, yeah. always have surfer, a hard time. Skater, actor, whatever. I mean, if if you if you want to be a soccer player, is the the dream for <laughs> right. everybody. But it's also a dream for a few, right? It's not that easy because everybody wants to be. So being a musician in Brazil is it, it, it's never like the first plan. But with me, it's just like I couldn't help it. All, all I wanted to do was to be a musician. But but because of religion and all the difficulties in, in, in Brazil, it was something that was not my first goal, right? But it happened. It happened naturally. And of course, we have the, the God's help somehow, right? When 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 some things are meant to be, they are. Some Somehow will happen, right? Somehow. And you have a very impactful story, yeah. something that you've told me before, and I was hoping you could share a little bit about it for the NG Ingwin show because it really changed the course of your life. It yeah. brought you in contact with some Taiwanese musicians, and I would love if you could share that story. Sorry, I can only tell you that John Gang said the impactful story, which is an impact on your life. 我们现在来看一下来宾刚提到的这一段说为什么他会把演奏萨克斯风当作一个profession也就是职业大部分的人应该知道巴西这个国家的经济状况不是太好所以他们的工作机会不多薪资也不太高也就是因为这样所以他走
some bad things happen so better things can come to our yeah. way right i believe it's always like that and and that's why nowadays i don't feel too frustrated when something goes wrong because we never know what's going to come after that right so long story short a taiwanese brand had a, a distributor in brazil and this distributor no, knew me because of this job i did for the other brand promoting and making videos and talking about the brand so they invited me to start to help them with the promotion of the taiwanese brand there in brazil right so i just got the instruments and the same day started to talk about the instruments and the same weekend I play a wedding there, I recorded a video, I post the video. The next day, the president of the company, man, <laughs> the president oh. of the company yes. shared, shared my video on his personal Facebook and he said, guys, check this Brazilian artist of our brand. And I wasn't, but he talked to me like I was. And, and that's how it started man after that i started to speak with him and he just say i need to bring you to to taiwan because the style you play here in taiwan people will love it i need to bring you to taiwan and the first time i came here was 2017 then stayed for three or four days and i was like oh my god because you know you don't have a, a really a uh, complete view of how we w what is Taiwan outside of right, right I mean especially we, in Brazil yeah too, especially right? in Brazil why right? you just think like oh it's Ch you know everything that we buy in Brazil is made in Taiwan or China so you just think it's almost the same stuff yeah. and you think that when you get to here you will see a lot of rice farms like in the movies like yeah. so yeah so when I get here in 2017 when I, I arrive in Xingyi Lu there and I see that huge building and all those mercedes bmws i was like what the <laughs> this is not the rice paddy feels yeah, huh? so man i just fell in love with the place right away as well so the owner of the company just started to talk to me like man you should think about coming here to stay right uh but it's not it's not easy for me anyway right yeah but again god is good and 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 the things work out and i came back here in 2019 and i'm here Woo! Yeah. Wow. Man. Yeah. It's... Incredible. And really, like you said so beautifully, you know, such a such a scary situation, yeah. such a fearful situation, mm. and we don't know what's going to happen. And it ended up bringing you here. Yeah. The best the best thing in my life, man. I mean, of course, best thing in my life is music because, as you said, it's I love music because I I'm nothing without music. I mean, I I cannot see myself not doing music. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, you you are a special soul. I think you could do many things, but <laughs> well, <music laughs> I'm glad you found music. <laughs> music. It's in the vein. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful, man. Yeah. And thank you for sharing that story. And I'm so glad that you got to come to Taiwan and and now can share your gift and your love for music because you know you're around all around Taiwan right now, playing shows, playing weddings, yeah. playing you know teaching, doing mm -hmm. master classes, and it's so cool. 来宾刚说才有机会来到台湾。这也是为什么后来他比较少觉得frustrated，也就是沮丧，因为他觉得这一切都是冥冥之中的安排。And I was hoping we could transition a little bit into that. And on top of that, with your language, because in Brazil, right, we speak Portuguese, Spanish, 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 Portuguese, wealthy family you definitely will learn english in some point of your life but like me and most of the population in brazil it's not something that it's inside your your plan of life because it's hard you know it's hard so but but i thank god i thank god all the time by my family my mom even she 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 finished the high school with me after like she was already wow. yeah so because she didn't have any any uh, uh, education but she always wor wor 
was interested on on reading, and so she was super open minded. So the first thing she she did with me was like, okay, you are going to English. You have to learn English, Spanish, something. I hate it by the time because I was just right, a kid. kid. I、yeah. want to play soccer. <laughs> But Saturday morning, she forced me to go to to learn English.、It、was the best thing happened to me also because even I didn't want it. That helped me to get my first job at Rotary Club because、yes. yeah, I worked for the Rotary Club Exchange Program in São Paulo. That's right. Yeah, and and there they just hired me mainly because in my Curriculum has like English, right? So I started to work with them, but I didn't speak English at all because you know in Brazil we go to the school, we we learn the the the, the, the language, but we don't practice. Right, we you're talk, speaking we're still Portuguese, por- right. Portuguese everywhere, right? So you don't really talk. But thanks to Rotary Club,、uh, and then my work, I was in direct、uh, contact with with foreigners from all over the world, right? Yeah, and then and then we we always had these weekends with the, the the young young kids that came to stay stay a year in Brazil. So the whole weekend there's nothing else but English, right? So that was my my school. That was my school. It's yeah, yeah it's beautiful. And you know, a few people that have been on the NG English show, Torden,、mm. I believe you know Torden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah. very big、Great、with、guy. the Rotary Club,、mm. and. Yeah, it seems like it was a great thing for you because foreigners are constantly going into Brazil,、yeah. and you're taking care of them. Yeah, that was great. I became friends with with people from all over the world, and and, and the best best thing that ever happened to me while working in Rotary Club also was, I got to, yeah, again one of those gods things that we never expect、mm-hmm. to happen, but he makes it happen. So I was there in my office. Uh, and the girl that works with me, she went to a meeting with the the, the board.、Uh, and next next day, when she came to the office, she opened the door. The first thing she said to me is like, "Gee,、uh, they need a boy that plays saxophone <laughs> to go to United States." Woo! Like, I'm how, guy, I'm I'm they put my name there already because come、Joker. on, man, <laughs> how is that? Right, right. But anyway, again, I didn't have any. Financial situation to do a trip to United States to stay one month, right? But Rotary Rotarians, the Rotary Club people, they are awesome, and and with me they were great. They they gave me everything. I got the tickets. I got. They gave me money to spend there. So I, I'm really grateful. I mean, yeah, I'm、mm. I'm I'm really blessed. I I I am really blessed. God is really really good to me. <laughs> It's beautiful and. That was kind of your first. Was that your first trip first abroad? Trip, first trip. I never imagined in my life I would go outside Brazil. In, wow. You know, like, and then that was my first trip, and and that changed everything because I go to spend one week only in, in saxophone in the university. It was like a, a summer camp, right?、Mm-hmm. So it's the whole week saxophone, saxophone, saxophone. So when I come back from there, I, that's that was the exact moment I say, I will leave from this. Wow. You knew yeah. that that was yeah. Be- that was the moment. Even even I knew it was hard. That was the moment that I say, okay, now it's over. I'm a musician. <laughs> wow, he's a musician. And you, how old were you at that time? I was twenty one. Twenty one. You were like, that's my 21, my career now.、Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. It's beautiful, and I'm so grateful that you got to have those opportunities. You know, shout、yeah. out to the Rotary Club, and yeah, shout out to your family because I think that's where it really yeah, does begin. You know, yeah, that gentle family, push. My family, my family is、mm. everything, man. I mean, there's. Simple, but yeah, I, I I'm I thank God for them because yeah they 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 made me. Yeah, it's beautiful. I hope they can come join us、I、here hope, in Taiwan. I hope one、soon. day one day they can come. It's too far. I know it is. Very, <laughs> right, my my father still. He's, yeah, like, it's, it's too far. Too far. For, like, yeah, your right, father、right. is far. Mine is farther. <laughs> like twenty、yeah. seven hours. Ooh, yeah, yes, a、true. lot. <laughs> very very true. Awesome, Diogo. Well, the question I'd love to end the NG England show with is: if you could go back and talk to a younger Diogo before you had found maybe your profession. Brazil is a country with rich Portuguese and Portuguese culture, so unless your family is very wealthy, you will never have the opportunity to meet English. This is why the guest is very lucky, because his mother was born and raised in Brazil, so he immediately joined the Rotary Club and immediately had the opportunity to meet English people. So he immediately joined the Rotary Club and immediately had the opportunity to meet English people. So he immediately joined the Rotary Club and immediately had the opportunity to meet English people. So he immediately joined the Rotary Club and immediately had the opportunity to meet English people. So he immediately joined the Rotary Club and immediately had the opportunity to meet English people. So he immediately joined the Rotary Club and immediately had the opportunity to meet English people. So he immediately joined the Rotary Club and immediately had the opportunity to meet English people. First of all, language, man. I think, I think, especially English. 
uh, English opened the door for for the whole world.、Yeah. Music also because music is the only one that you don't need、the、to change. The universal language, yeah, it's, right? It's yeah, everywhere the same language. But English opens doors, opens doors,、yeah. right? And 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 of course, if you have chance, Mandarin also because come on. It's it's half of the world. Half of the world, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's it. And about music, I, I, I what I can tell you is it's hard. A lot of times you will think, what am I doing? Why don't I give up? But don't give up. I mean, it's hard, but there's nothing more pleasure than be on stage and see that your music touch people. Mm. Mm. So, like it did、yeah. to me. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's beautiful. 来宾刚刚有提到，其实英文为他开启了更多机会，中文当然也是。但其实他觉得 universal language， 也就是通用的语言，其实是音乐以及爱。不知道大家有没有在电影看过《Love Is a Universal Language》这一句话，应该很常听到。其实就代表着爱就是一个通用的语言。不知道大家是不是这样觉得呢？ Awesome, Jogo. Well, where can people maybe sign up for some master classes you're doing? Where can they maybe find a live performance of you? Yeah, you can follow me Facebook, Instagram, Line. You just need to to yeah. It's kind of hard to to type my name, but if you type on YouTube, Instagram, Jogo D I O G O Sax S A X, you will definitely find me there. Jogo Sax D I O G O S A X. You find me definitely there. Definitely, and your、yeah. Instagram name, a Diogo saxophonista. Yeah, the same. Just Diogo sax will pop up my my picture there. Beautiful, <laughs> awesome, Diogo. Well, thank you for my pleasure coming、man. to join us here on the NG English Show. And I hope with COVID lightning, maybe you can be playing more and more live shows. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's it's coming back now. I'm glad it's coming back now. It's gonna be much better. I I I believe so.、Yeah. I believe so too. I believe so. All right, Yogo. Awesome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on you, NG Ingwen. Yeah, share, subscribe, follow this channel. This guy is amazing.、There、really, really nice person. Thank you, Jogo. Yes, and if you want to learn more about awesome people from all over the world here in Taiwan doing incredible things, please follow, like, and share. All right, bye, everyone. We'll talk to you next bye -bye, time. Bye, bye, bye. See you. Peace. All right. Well, that is our NG Ingwen show for today. We hope everyone enjoyed listening to that. You can connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and now Spotify. You can search NG Ingwen, or you can search on IG NG English I C R T. And don't forget to tune in every Wednesday morning from 6:30 to 7, and Wednesday night from 9 to 9:30. We'll catch you on the next episode. Bye bye.